Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving square roots from here? You have square root of 9, then square root of 9, square root of 9, raised to power 4 from here. Let's use first method. Method 1 from here. We have, we can write this again as root, square root of 9, then inside that again, square root of 9, then we also have square root of 9 which is raised to power 4 and 4 here can be written as 2 times 2 so from here this first power of 2 we cancel the square root outside here and from there this will become 9 then square root of 9 square root of 9 then we then be raised to power the 2 that is left here then from here we can simplify what is in the bracket here and the square root of 9 here that's 3 and we can write this as 9 then square root of 9 then times 3 here then raised to power 2 and the same way we can separate this into two roots and this is 9 times root 9 times root 3 then raised to power 2 and from here root 9 is 3 so we have 9 times 3 then root 3 times root 3 raised to power 2 and 9 times 3 there is 27 and that gives us 27 times root 3 which is raised to power 2 and next this power of 2 affects 27 and also affects root 3 so we have 27 square then times root 3 square here square cancel square root remain 3 and 27 can be written as 3 raised to power 3 3 multiply itself 3 times then raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 1 left here then this power multiplies from the law of indices we have 3 square 3 raised to power 6 then times 3 raised to power 1 and same base multiply we can add the power from here and this is simply 3 raised to power 7 and then or we can write it as 3 multiply itself 7 times and that is 2187 so we have the solution on this method and also let's use another method to solve this and from here what we have we can write it again on this method and then this will become square root of here we can write this name as 3 square and also we have square root of also 3 square again then we have square root of also we have 3 square again which is raised to power 4 from here then in the next step, when we separate this, you know, square root, and we break it down, so we have square root of 3 square times, here, this 3 square contains 2 roots, so that will be square root of, then square root of 3 square, then this other one contains 3 roots, so that is square root of, square root of, then square root of 3 square, then all raised to power 4 from here. And then when we look at this, square here cancel square root. Also one square here cancel the square root here. Square here cancel the square root here. So what we left here is 3 times root 3 now here. Then times, we have 2 roots left here. Then 3, then raised to power 4. Then again, what is inside here, we can of course write it again. And this will be 3 times 3 raised to power half. 10 times 3 raised to power 1 over 4 because we have half times half here that's 1 over 4 then raised to power 4 then this is 3 raised to power 1 we can since we have same base and they are multiplying we can add the power this is 1 plus half plus 1 over 4 then raised to power 4 and this is 1 over 1 SCM here is 4 so we have 4 as the SCM here. So we have 3 raised to power 1 going further as 4 times 1 that's 4 plus 2.
2 going to 4 that's 2 times 1 that's 2 plus 4 going to 4 that's 1 times 1 1 then raised to power 4 so this gives us 3 raised to power 7 over 4 which is raised to power 4 then from here this power multiplies then 4 here can cancel out and this remain 3 raised to power 7 or we can write it as 2187 so whichever way this gives us 3 raised to power 7 or 2187 thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you in the next one and bye for now